So when I woke up at two o'clock in the morning that night, I thought, this is it. I'm going to die. I mean, there's sweat is just pouring off my face. My heart feels like it's going to blow right out of my chest. And I'm thinking, this is what it feels like when it's the end. I remember getting up and going in the bathroom. I'd never done that in the middle of the night before and washing my face with cold water, trying to calm myself down. I eventually went back and laid down, but nothing would settle down. I just laid there till sun up and tried to make it to work the next day, but it didn't work out. I ended up that night in the emergency room at the hospital. My legs were convulsing in a way that I couldn't control. My whole face was numb. My arm was numb. And I thought, this is it. Then my life is going to end right here and right now. But it turns out I had a symptom that even has a name for it. And that's the fear of death syndrome. And it's just a place that you work yourself into in life where your mind over revs and you can't slow it down quickly. And I entered into a place that was so dark, so frustrating, so debilitating that I didn't know what to do. I remember the nights more than anything because the days you could almost manage, but at the nighttime you knew two o'clock's coming three o'clock's coming and I'm going to be awake again. My heart's going to be crazy again. I'm going to look up and see that cloud of doom just pressing down on me again, feeling like it's just going to snuff me out, suffocate me in the middle of the night. And that might sound dramatic to somebody, but I got a feeling somebody's nodding along because I discovered in that time, a lot of people walk through what I walked through and a lot of people experience what I experienced. Doctors were amazing. I had medication that helped. But I remember three months in laying in bed one night and just staring up into the dark. My wife was asleep beside me and I just thought to myself, God, you got to help me. I believed in God all my life. I'd sung all the songs. I, I'd been ministering and preaching and teaching all my life. And in this moment, it was just a plea, God, if you're there, I need you to help me. And I just remember feeble, just lifting my hands up into the sky and saying, God, you've got to bring me out of this. If you don't do something, I'm not going to make it. I needed a comeback and only God could do it.